Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop and super quick video today. Just going to talk a little bit about micrometers, specifically a Mitutoyo micrometer that I just purchased. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm in the process of upgrading this Beach Top Machinist Toolbox here behind me. Uh, finally upgraded to a Kennedy Toolbox, a little bit larger one. And in the process of doing that, I was going through my toolbox and I still have this old Lufkin 1 to 2 inch micrometer. All my other mics from 0 to 6 are Mitutoyo 103 series but I've always had this one Lufkin mic in there so I thought you know what at the same time I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade and I'm gonna buy a matching Mitutoyo 1 to 2 inch micrometer to go with all my other ones so I did that and here's my new Mitutoyo 1 to 2 inch micrometer that came in probably late to the party on this but I had no idea that Mitutoyo had gone to some plastic parts so this lock mechanism on here is now plastic instead of metal and the ratchet thumb thimble here on the end is also now a plastic part instead of metal. Since I plan to use this one to two inch micrometer a lot, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna take the, the two metal bits off of my five to six inch micrometer that I don't use very often, and I'm gonna see if I can put those metal bits onto this new micrometer that I'm gonna use a lot. So I'm hoping that they're interchangeable. We'll see if they are, and if they are, uh, if you've got some old mics kicking around or if you've got some broken ones, I'm guessing those metal bits may be worth some money. You could probably put them on eBay and uh, I bet somebody would want to snap those up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bench, see if we can switch those parts over. And for those of you new to the channel, hey, usually the video is on here about machining, welding, knife making, just, you know, everything else going on in the shop. But today we're going to go ahead and see if we can upgrade this new micrometer and get some metal bits back on here. Let's take a look at the bench. All right, so you can see on my one inch micrometer, you know, you get a nice little metal piece there instead of the plastic. You get the, the ratchet stop at the end is metal instead of plastic. So my one inch I use quite a bit, so I'm not gonna take that one apart, but I thought, you know what? This five to six inch, I don't use this very often. So I'm gonna see if these two pieces are interchangeable on here on the spline and also make sure that it's pretty easy to get them apart. So just a Phillips screw that's in there. Let's take a look at what we've got underneath. Okay, the screw is surprisingly loose, so there was not much to getting that out of there. And this piece just sits on a little spline. So you've got a little wavy thrust washer under there, a little splined part in here in this piece of plastic. So let's see if uh, my micrometers here are about almost 30 years old, so let's see if they've changed the spline on that in the last 30 years. Same thing, not much to getting that screw out. No Loctite on it or anything like that. That was nice and loose. Well, the wavy washer underneath is black on this one instead of shiny silver. That's the only difference I'm seeing so far. And, okay, I'm actually gonna put that locked. But so far, it looks like my spline is gonna fit right on there. Okay, so locked, I want that straight down. And perfect fit. Has, has the, the same curve around the back. So that is a perfect swap over. Now, let me also say, I pretty much, I don't use the lock mechanism on there very often, but still, I just don't want to be banging it around and, and break that plastic piece and I think the metal looks a lot nicer. So let's go ahead and get the screw back in there, get the other one on and we'll see what they've changed anything taking the back off. All right, again, get that spline lock lined up so that pretty much straight down is locked. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I definitely think that the metal one looks nicer on there. The micrometer comes with the tool. You've got the tool so that you can get in here and adjust the, the barrel to your, your standard. So you've got that piece in there. Ah, oh, pretty cool. I notice I've got a serial number and a barcode back there. I don't think I have that on my old ones. No, my old ones don't have a serial number and a barcode underneath the, the thimble. 
So anyway, it comes with a tool to be able to adjust that when you're setting it with your standard. But the other end of that same tool is going to be what's going to fit on the back end here so you can take off your ratchet piece. So you can, again, I rarely use this. I could theoretically take it off and just not use this at all since I really don't use that much. I go by feel, but it looks kind of odd not to have it on there and to have the hole in the end. So let's see if they've changed the thread on this in 30 years. Again, not tight, not hard to get the piece off. And that is a perfect fit in there. All right. I think I'll go find a, a brush and clean that up a little bit now that I've got that on there. Well, simple as that. Just a couple minutes and I have metal bits on my new Mitutoyo 103 series micrometer. I'm telling you, you've got some of these old mics sitting around, old Mitutoyos or some old parts, old broken ones, you work in a tool room somewhere. I think those two little metal bits would be worth some money. Some people would be interested in having those. Well, that's it. That's the whole video for today. Well, YouTube, that's a wrap on a video here in the Blades to Be shop. Super quick, just went through, confirmed that you can take the old metal bits off of the older Mitutoyo micrometers and you can put those on the newer ones to replace the plastic parts they have on there. Again, I'm telling you, if you've got those parts, save them, put them on eBay, probably find somebody to snap them up. The color's different, I can deal with that. Hey, when I open up the drawer, obviously gonna be super easy to spot which one is my one inch and my two inch, which are the two micrometers I probably use the most. But that's it, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. And if you are curious or if you know somebody, can find those other parts if you wanna do the upgrade, now you know how simple it is and that it will work for you. Hey, if you're new, if you're checking out the channel, I encourage you to get out there and look at some of the other videos on here on machining, welding, knife making. If you like the channel, would love it if you hit that subscribe button, drop a like, drop a comment on this one, always love to hear from you. Till next time, I hope you're out in your own shop working on some projects of your own. I'm gonna be here in the Blades to Be shop. I'm gonna finish uh, unwrapping this new toolbox. You'll see that video come out here on the weekend and get my things moved over. And then it's gonna be back to making some knives, making some parts, get ready for that blade show in Atlanta. Coming up in June, hope I can see you there. All right, until next time, y'all take care.